73 Les Paul Custom. I would consider it a semi-vintage guitar these days. Back when I bought it in the late 70s, it was considered a used guitar. Let's look at some past clips with this baby. <laughs> this in the late 70s and I paid a hundred bucks for it which even uh, back then was a bargain back then this guitar should have been going for three fifty four hundred dollars something like that uh, early 70s Les Paul reissues they were called this one was pretty much correct the pickup covers were were trashed they, they were in bad shape so I took them off and everyone was taking pickup covers off back then I have no idea what happened to them. The knobs, uh, I believe it had black knobs, uh, which is what they originally had. I like the look of gold. I still have the black knobs. I just think this is a nice look, the gold knobs. Uh, other things about the, the 70s, or at least the early 70s reissues, they were what was called a fretless wonder. Um, and it's a wonder you could play them because the frets were so small. So pretty much everyone at one point or another had to have there are Les Pauls refretted. This is no exception. Fine job done by Luthier Jim Jarris, uh, putting new frets in. Uh, the other thing that's different about this, it has shaler tuners. You can still see the uh, holes from the original, I don't know, what, what did Gibson use? Cluson or something like that? These are better tuners anyway. Uh, and another thing, uh, this is just Kind of at the beginning of this volute thing, there's a small volute, a little bump in the neck here where it joins the headstock. That uh, I don't know when they started doing that, but the problem was, you know, these things break at the headstock. But I've seen them with a lot bigger volutes than this one has. Uh, but I'm no expert on that. But anyway, there's the story on the 70s. Les Paul, heavy as a boat anchor, uh, great sound. Great playing now with frets, and I don't know what are these going for, like three or four thousand dollars, something like that. Uh, another good way to get into vintage guitars if you're looking to, you know, get into vintage guitars at a lower price. Strap locks have been changed too. It, uh, I have the original strap buttons, so there it is. Seventy-three Les Paul Custom. A little bit of road wear. This uh, thing has been in every bar and grill between Pittsburgh and Cleveland. So there it is. Thanks for watching. <laughs>